guys, it's Googie55 here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make, sorry about that, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a uh, video using Windows Movie Maker, now this was a request by Swilliam4567, uh, go check out his channel, he has some pretty awesome videos, there will be an annotation right here. Anyway, so in this video I'm going to be going through the basics, such as adding a title, adding your own videos, um, clips, uh, pictures, audio, or music, uh, and or you can capture from a video device such as a webcam. Now the first thing, it, what I'm going to be doing is making the title, so it's really easy, all you need to go to is tools, titles, and credits, and add a title at the beginning of the movie. Now here you want to type in the title now. This I'm going to call the zoo because I'm going to be using pictures from the zoo. Um, and just for YouTube, if they decide to watch this video, I took these pictures myself, so uh, there's no copyrighted material in this video. So please don't take away my revenue sharing, if that's what you're planning to do. Uh, anyway, so change the text font color. You could choose that if you would like. Um, and you can choose color of the background. And so there you go. You can also change the color of the text itself. So let's change that to black and the font. Okay. Now you you can change the uh, title animation. So this is basically how the title kind of comes in. So I'm going to do moving titles layered because I think it looks cool. But they have a bunch of different ones. And when you're happy with it, click on done, add title to the movie. And there's your title. Now just for the heck of it, click on show timeline. It's much easier to manage. Also, uh, now what we're going to be doing is importing our videos and pictures. Um, and our music. So to YouTube, this music also isn't copyrighted. So, you know, um, this, uh, sorry, the pictures... Well, no, you need to do this all separately, so. If you want to import video clips, you click on import video, choose your video clip. Import pictures, choose your pictures. And then import audio or music. Do that. Capture from a video device, that's like if you want to do it directly from your webcam. And, yeah. I don't have any video clips to show you guys today. Well, I did, but for some reason Windows Movie Maker doesn't like the format that they're in, so I can't show them to you. But, import pictures gonna highlight them all click import and putting the pictures in the video is pretty much the same concept as the uh, putting video clips in the main video so uh, you guys shouldn't have too much trouble with that um, now what you're going to want to do is import your music too so import audio or music import your music and now what you want to do is you want to put them down in the timeline in the way in the order that you want them to appear in so as you can see there put them in this order and what you can do if you would like and this will also crop videos for you um so let's say you want to make your video a bit shorter you could do this to make your video a bit shorter too but if let's say for pictures if you don't, if you don't want them to appear for like 10 seconds which is pretty much the default of windows movie maker you can click on the picture and then move it all the way to the move your cursor all the way to the right the picture and you'll see red arrows click and drag it to as short as you want so you can do that with video clips too and um that'll basically crop the video clip or cut part of it off and this here will make them not as pure for as long and you can also do it vice versa if you want to make it appear. you can't do this with the video clips but for pictures if you want to make them appear for longer you can drag it to the right instead now obviously i don't see why somebody would want to look at a picture of an elephant for about a minute but you know so we'll leave that there uh, now, what you can do, if you'd like, you can add transitions between your videos and pictures. So this basically kind of gives an effect, so it just doesn't kind of show the picture and then move suddenly to the next picture. It kind of gives a nice effect in between them. So for this part, you're going to want to click on Show Storyboard again. Go to Tools, Video Transitions, and you can choose what effect you want to give it in between pictures or videos so you just take click it drag it 
into these white areas here. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill every one with some sort of a transition. And there we go. Uh, now, what you can also do is on pictures, and I think you could do this for videos too, but I'm not sure. Uh, you could actually add video effects. So, like, if you want the picture to kind of fade down in brightness throughout the video, what you can do is go to Tools, Video Effects, and let's say I want the brightness to decrease on uh, this picture of the butterfly here. What you can do is actually drag it onto the picture. Okay, and now what I'm going to be showing you um, how to do after you're happy with all that. Um, actually, let's add another one. Film age old on this picture. Anyway, so once you're happy with all that, you want to click on show timeline again. And now I'm going to be showing you guys how to add subtitles to your video clips or your pictures. So what you want to do down in the timeline, click on the picture you want to add the subtitle to. Click on tools, titles and credits add title on the selected clip and I don't really understand why it's doing this so don't ask me actually you know what no for the title you want to stay on storyboard click on your picture and then click titles and credits add title on the selected clip so now I'm just gonna click on uh, sorry type in butterfly Okay, and once again, you can add animations and change the text and font color. Okay, um, and so that will go in to my picture. Um, now the last thing is the credits. So what you want to do is click on Tools, Titles, and Credits. Add credits to the end. And here's where you can type in credits. So thanks for watching. And then you can add things like producer Gaguda fifty five. Requested. That's not how you spell requested. William 4567. Okay, so you just want to keep on doing that. And over here, you can see it kind of gives the cool effect. Once again, you can, uh, oh, and it actually plays it for you. Uh, once again, you can add title animations for credits. So, video left. It's pretty cool. Uh, mirror. I like that. So, I'm going to choose that and change the text font and animation. You can do that too. There you go. Click on done, add title to the movie, and as you can see here, the credits are so long. Actually, I think you need to leave them or else it might cut part of the credits off. Now, to add the music, which I should have done way earlier than this, uh, but it doesn't really matter. To add the music, uh, what you want to do if you're in like, a menu like this, you want to go back to collection collections and add your music now if it's way longer than your video you want to do the arrow thing again and bring it down to the length of your video and now you can preview your whole video by going to the beginning clicking play and as you can see it shows a full preview there and there's my transitions and I did see a short overlay title back here butterfly it's black so it's kind of hard to see but you can't see it and I can't hear the music play but you should be able to or well you shouldn't be able to in this recording but you know what I mean and then there's our credits so as you can see it's really simple to put together now it's often the um, actual saving it as a video file that people have trouble with it's actually really easy all you need to do is get a file uh, save movie file. Now often people will just go to file save and that'll save it as a Windows movie maker file. But what you need to do save movie file. Uh, just click on my computer and enter file name to save it as a movie. So my movie or movie whatever. And best quality for playback on my computer. Um, 
and you can choose a bunch of choices here up to high quality video so there's no HD in this because it's pretty old the best quality playback on my computer that's just what I'm gonna click and go next and that should save your movie wherever so thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you create a video sorry yeah a video in Windows Movie Maker and if you want anything done leave a comment on this video personal message me please rate comment subscribe and i'll be out with another tutorial soon thank you for watching